I had a client today delete a whole bunch of images from their media library to make room so they could upload a new photo because they had reached their two gig gigabyte limit. The issue was is that that deleted a whole bunch of images that were on the live site and now I'm having to go through and try to find them. But one major problem is, and this has been a long go going issue with Wix, is that you can't tell what image is being used on any page. So right now, for example, I'm in the blog. Now I can click on this image here um, that's missing, and then I can go up here to, I guess change is really all I can do. Um, but as you can see, it doesn't show me like what image was even used in the first place, what the, the name of it was, so I can do a search either on my desktop to re-upload the image if needed, or search within this site files media library. Um, and that's a real issue because as people start to f frantically delete things um, in the editor, they're not going to be able to replace or find those images again. So. Um, I wanted to see if Wix can make it available so that you can at least tell what this file name was called um, if, if it is, if they are deleted. And just in general, the, the ability to be able to say, okay, maybe I want to optimize this picture because it's, it's too big. If I come up here to change image, I can't just easily find it. I have to just visually search for it, which if you have hundreds of images can be very time consuming. Um, it should just tell you what this file is. So, and I don't know where I could find any of that information. It's not here under the settings. It's not here um, under the replace image. It's just not available at all. And this is across the board with all Wix sites on pages, blog posts, etc., etc. So as people start to run into storage limits, they're not able to go into things and say, well, I, I want to optimize this, this, uh, this picture. Now, I do know that there is that ability here to resize the image here, um, but the problem is with this is that I can apply this and save this, but rather than replacing the image across the site, it is actually generating a new image. So as you can see, here it is, the new image. And um, in this case, it does come in with, at least now I can see it because it's the most recent and I can see what the file name is. So this might help me, but this is such a weird name. I don't know if this was actually the original file name anyway. Maybe it was. Um, I'm curious if I do the same thing with one of these. Or actually I'll just resize it. We'll do it 238. Oops. And then I'll apply it. I'll hit save. Let's see what this one's called when it's new. Okay, it does it does retain it. So yeah, that must have been the original file name. And then it has two at the end of the name. But regardless, it would be nice not to have to do that in order to find that image or figure out what that file name is. Um, another big problem is now that there's size limitations that we can't see what files are taking up the most room. Like technically, in most all other media library things, they will show you um, the size here on the right. So I could, and then I could even filter them or reorder them by size. That way I could identify which images are taking up the most space and then see if they're necessary. Um, also, it would be nice to know if they're being used on any pages. That way, uh, when clients come in and frantically delete things, it might warn them and say, hey, this image is being used. Are you sure you want to delete it? Um, or if at least it would keep a copy of that image, even if they delete it. Um, also, the ability just to replace these images. So to come in here, like I said, it just creates a new file. It doesn't actually replace the existing image. It would be wonderful to have a replace image option here so that we could upload a optimized version of that image or maybe just an option to say optimize this image and then it will optimize it on all the images uh, on the site that are, you know, wherever it's being used, it would automatically optimize it and replace it versus, you know, I can of course resize and edit this here, but then it creates a new image and that doesn't necessarily replace it on any of the pages that it's being used. So these are just a few issues that I'm running into now that there is limitations for the storage. Um, it'd be really wonderful to have the ability to 
show the sizes on these. Um, I know it's here, but you know you have to do it one by one and that takes forever if you're trying to identify which ones are like the 10 gigabyte files and how can I optimize the biggest files first to start opening up space on the server. Um, it would also just be nice to be able to come into in individual images and optimize or shrink them and replace the file versus creating a new file. So let me know if this is something that Wix can work on. Um, it's certainly, I'm sure a lot of other people are running into the same issue, uh, just trying to make room. Two gigabytes just isn't that much room if you're uploading a lot of photos and if they're large photos. I am going forward uh, uh, advising my clients to shrink down their images to maybe 1500 pixels wide um, and make sure they're like under a megabyte. That way they don't run into size problems. Uh, before this, we were kind of it seemed like we had the unlimited storage or it wasn't really an issue. Um, but now that they're starting to track the storage, it is becoming an issue and you can't just upload a whole bunch of photos um, and have them there. It would be really nice to know which images are being used for, by the site too and you could categorize it and say used images versus not used images. That way you could just delete a whole bunch that are not being used by the site. So any of these features would really help and save us a lot of time, especially when, for example, the client um, deletes images by mistake that are actually being used because now I have all these broken images throughout the site that are an issue. So thanks for your help and thanks for always improving Wix.